Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the change of command for Commander Navy, Navy Recruiting Region Central between Captain Robert Smith and Captain Karen Martin. A special welcome to Recruiter Adam Walker, Commander of Navy Recruiting Command. Welcome Region staff, skippers, Captain Smith's wife, Patty, virtually his mother, Jane, and sons, Bobby, Jacob, and Christian. Captain Martin's husband, Paul, and joining us virtually her mother, Phyllis Gregg, father, Boyd, and Martha, her brother, Michael, and mother-in-law, Betty. Welcome to each of you. The change of, com change of command ceremony is not prescribed specifically by U.S. Navy regulations, but it is rather a time-honored tradition in the rich heritage of the United States Navy. This unique naval custom is designed to recognize the transfer of authority, accountability, and responsibility from one commander to another. At this time, Lieutenant Lieutenant Commander Saul Burleson will deliver the invocation. Let us pray. Almighty God, the fountain of wisdom and source of all truth, whose will is good and gracious, we thank you for the exceptional leadership that Navy Recruiting Command Region Central has received from Captain Robert Butch Smith. Through his servant's heart and keen intellect, Region Central has proven to be a formidable force for good, identifying, mentoring, and inspiring the next generation of our nation's warfighters. We thank you also for the sacrifices of his family, and we ask for special blessings upon Patty, Jane, Bobby, Jacob, and Christian. In his transition to PERS, may we and the Navy continue to benefit from his leadership. As Captain Karen Montine assumes command over Region Central, we trust that our great nation will be the benefactors of the gifts you have given her. We ask that you bless her and empower her to exercise the full scope of her ability. May your spirit always guide her down right paths of wisdom and truth. All this we pray in your matchless and holy name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Commander, Navy Recruiting Region Central, Commodore Butch Smith. All right, good one. Relax, everyone. Relax. All right. So, definitely unusual for the Navy to do a change of command in this uniform. All right. Uh, after my time with the Army, I have definitely fell into the love of this uniform and totally agree that this is uh, not a bad uniform to do a change of command. Cool. So, they, I knew the Army guys were enjoy that. All right. So, I also am not, uh, I asked Admiral Walker if we could uh, make this typically a little bit shorter than normal by not doing any speeches. Uh, I'm just going to say a couple of things, and, and the Admiral has, has been very nice to not do a speech, and, and I appreciate that, sir. I know that everyone always wants to say great things, or, or at least in public, no, nothing bad. Uh, so I would love to hear it, but uh, you've told me enough already, and I do appreciate it. I do want to take the opportunity to look a flyer. I, I received a flyer from my change of command. I'm going to make sure that I get some document. Oh, awesome. All right. Uh, my comments to this is to just get to I don't look at the team as just the region staff. My team and well, obviously in the field, the intacts, but the way we're organized, you know, the team includes all of the civilians, all of the military folks here in our C, obviously the boss, all the way up to CMP, because nothing gets done without the full team's support. So I think each and every one of you, I really do appreciate all the support. I, I appreciate the continued support uh, for Captain Muntean. Um, here in the near future, as first 44, I'm going to be the benefactor, uh, a lot, you know, trying to force or push through what you're getting into the Navy to the fleet. So again, thank you for what you do. I have one piece of advice, especially for the staff. Uh, uh, if you have the opportunity, the intact skippers get to do this uh, periodically. If doing this job for the Navy and country sometimes feels like it's not enough, I have a, a cure for that for you, and is this. You can call me, you can uh, call any of the Commodores, uh, but particularly uh, in the near future region east. Um, I can absolutely ensure you that Commander Reichardt, who is the current CEO of MEPS, Memphis, can get you in to watch a swear in ceremony. And if that doesn't just make you feel unbelievably awesome and re energize you, nothing will. So I highly encourage you when you're like, beat down the daily grind of this job makes you question why you're doing it call the maps they'll get you in and you will be re-energized i guarantee it it is 
amazing. It's exciting. We're changing people's lives each and every day. And I appreciate the opportunity to have been able to do that over the last couple of tours. So, again, thank you each and every one of you. It's been an honor. Second tour for my, some of my civilian bubbles, Spark, Jimmy, Joe, number of us have been here before. And I'm only going, you know, right over there. So, happy to support and we'll continue to support with the Manning side as much as I can. Commodore Smith, please step forward. <laughs> Attention to award. The President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Legion of Merit to Captain Robert S. Smith, United States Navy. Her service is set forth in the following. For exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding service as Commander of the Navy Recruiting Region Central from October 2020 to April 2022, demonstrating exceptional leadership and managerial ability, Captain Smith led nine subordinate Navy talent acquisition groups comprised of over 1,700 military and civilian personnel geographically dispersed across 1.5 million square miles in 19 states. Despite a period of unprecedented uncertainty, and overwhelming challenges presented by the coronavirus pandemic, challenging military entrance requirements and increased competition for talent across industry, Region Central still managed to recruit more than 21,000 personnel. His efforts minimized the session losses directly contributed to the Chief of Naval Personnel's strategic imperative to man the fleet with the highest talented sailors and were key to the region's resounding success in its inaugural year. Additionally, he consistently found innovative and fiscally responsible ways to conduct operations in a constrained environment, balancing operating costs and requirements to ensure the completion of 96 fishing trips in the region's initial year of operations. By his dynamic direction and keen judgment, loyal devotion to duty, Captain Smith reflected great credit upon himself and upheld his highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. President John B. Noel, Vice Admiral, United States Navy. Uh, Captain Smith, uh, will you please go to the podium and read your orders? I will now read my orders. From Chief of Naval Personnel, subject View First Order 3221, when directed by reporting senior, detached from Navy Recruiting Region Central, proceed to Commander Navy Personnel Command, Millington, Tennessee, and report as duty as PERS 44 Division Director. I will now read my orders. From Chief of Navy Personnel, subject orders 1022 when directed by reporting senior detached from navy recruiting region east and report as commodore navy recruiting region central to those in ranks. Good morning, Admiral Walker, distinguished guests, family, intact commanding officers virtually, and our incredible sailors and civilians. It is an absolute honor to command and 
a special honor to command Region Central and the new reserve recruiting. Admiral, I'm thankful that our paths have crossed. I look forward to working with you and continuing the partnership with your incredible staff. My personal thank yous go first and foremost to the for life, direction, and for providing everything needed along the way. Paul, thank you for so many things. Thank you. You make our home a place of refuge. I love you and I'm grateful to you beyond measure. Thank you, Lieutenant. To my mother, my dad, Martha and Greg, my brother, Michael, my mother-in-law, Betty, and my father-in-law, Victor, and all family joining virtually. Thank you for your prayers and your encouragement. Our family is a great source of strength to me and Paul. Butch, I owe you a great debt of gratitude. We all do to you and Patty and your family. You've worked day and night to establish and lead this region, and now I'm the beneficiary of the incredible team that you've established. You made a difference in this organization, and you made a difference in a lot of people's lives. That's what you do. Paul and I wish you, Patty, and the boys the absolute best in your next tour as you continue to serve us. My enthusiasm for commanding this region and establishing the new reserve command is because I'm standing here today for one reason. In October of 1992, after I finished my first enlistment, I, had, I was in college, which was my dream. I had no intentions of joining the Navy again, and I got a call from the prior service recruiter. And he inspired me to reconnect to the Navy. And I joined the Selected Reserve, and that is why I'm here today. To command the organization that changed my life is the honor of honors. To the Region Central team and the Reserve team, you are some of the most uniquely experienced professionals in our organization. If anyone knows how to build and transition, it's you. We have a lot of work to do, and we will see it through. To serve with you is a great honor. In closing, for those of you who recognize today as Good Friday, I wish you a special day of reflection and worship. Thanks to each of you for your encouragement and support. Thank you. Burleson will now deliver the benediction. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose command is over all and whose love never fails, as we go forth from this ceremony, having witnessed the mantle of leadership being placed upon Commodore Mateen, we ask you to bless us through her. Through her commitment and dedication, may each and every one of us be renewed in our service to this great nation and to one another. And may her husband Paul be strengthened as she serves tirelessly to champion and to support America's Navy. We ask that you protect our country, God, endorse our cause, and project your will upon us. Help us always to stand strong for what is right, to be people of courage, always committed to divinely justifiable causes. For it is in your holy name we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the change of command ceremony. Thank you for attending. You are now all invited to conference room A for the reception. Captain Smith requests all team members to gather for a photo before departure for the reception. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. And when we say team, I don't mean just them, that means all of